wanted to produce a 30-minute student-run newscast, and a lot of people said it couldn't be done. I know that after I graduate, we're going to take over the network. In financial news, the Dow dropped again. Coach Paul Hackett sees the game still as a stride ahead for the defense. Longtime Los Angeles mayor Tom Bradley is dead. This is Tatum One for Anna. TV news. What's up, SC? I know, I know, this is the final Annenberg TV news broadcast for the semester. Going in search of Santa Claus. That howling outside isn't just the president's lawyers talking, it's windy out there. That was a great program. Today is day one after the most memorable days in history of sports. Today, though, we have some sad news to take in. It's my last day here as self-proclaimed god of this realm. Before we come in, the first thing we do is uh, sit there and look through the wire. Good evening and welcome to a look inside the sporting world. But what are these students going to do now that the anxiety of papers, midterms, projects, and finals finally subsides? Set up the uh, rundown and assign riders and try and see what kind of footage we get. These crimes are not tolerated here on USC campus. Well, I guess I'm not getting that Ferrari this Christmas. Today was another one of those days that makes me so happy to be in L.A. But his years at USC were influential ones. Tuition, stipend, and research expenses. The victim was slightly injured near USC's Alpha Kappa Psi fraternity. Our Trojans had a tough weekend in Florida. Unfortunately, it had nothing to do with the hurricane. The Honorable Eduardo Stein talked to a group of students. Former USC Trojan, Randy Johnson faced the San Diego Padres. Investors, hold on to your hats. It looks like it's going to be a bumpy ride. You're about to find out what's hot and what's not. Hurricane George continues to flood the southeast. Up the stories from the news desk and bring them out here and cut them. The president's proposal calls for federal laws banning the sale of semi-automatic assault rifles to juveniles. First, I took a look at how the people of Littleton, Colorado are dealing with the shooting. She's a good girl. Watches the satellite. Investigators thought that an arrest would be made in a day or two. Look no further than your local DMV. I'll feel the role. Modesty was a little upset last night. Winter is here and we're going to be cold. We are seeing the festive effects of this holiday season. All the fun starts this weekend. Another shooting hits an American school. Now let's take a look at our extended local forecast. Brit Band, the Spice Girls, were crowned worst group of the year. Five of the top men's basketball teams in the country were in action last night. Tragic school shooting wounded one teacher and four students. Today was the first day of Monday Madness. I truly enjoyed working here every minute as an AT band newscaster. It's a waiting game right now for JPL scientists. This could also affect plans to bring Martian rocks back to Earth. Students are boosting up their caffeine levels to get all their studying done. Acts like the West Hollywood cheerleaders entertained hundreds today. The Orange Unified School District unanimously rejected a proposal. For students who didn't meet the December deadline, well, it's too late. To the White House begins with party primaries, forcing candidates to appeal to their political extremes. Students ranging from kindergarten to fifth grade. Everybody just loved the school. USC was named College of the Year by Time Magazine. It's been going on for such a long period of time. This building has been a part of the neighborhood for a long time. The state of Vermont today became the first in the union to recognize some type of gay marriage. Three, two, one. Coach Haley thinks they can overcome any obstacles that they face. You would think that a man who graduated magna cum laude from USC. No matter where you are, people are going to find ways to gamble. There's only $40,000 worth of damage to the building. The shuttle astronaut, astronauts were all suited up and ready to go. If 22 passes, only marriages between a man and woman will be recognized in the state. Today is African American Family Celebration Day. I decided to come over and get myself a frozen frappuccino. And you know, there's people out there asking me, hey, Bobby, are you going to dance? Here's what they're saying about last night's debate. Republicans in the Florida legislature have called a special session. The post-Paul Hackett era is only one week old. The second-ranked USC women's volleyball team looks to keep their season alive tonight. A rave here drew 30,000 partygoers. Martin Luther King Jr. is the first person who was not president to, was was not president to be honored with a monument on the National Mall in Washington D.C. Two wins tonight and tomorrow night could very well send the team to the Final Four. The bipartisan commission on presidential debate requires that each candidate average 15 percent of support. I spent the day on the Santa Monica Promenade. California candidates choose their own title within state restrictions. Just from here. One East L.A. artist wants to make sure that his murals tell the positive... We are one week into the post-Paul Hackett era. Both parties battled in front of the Florida Supreme Court. As the last forecast of the broadcast, if you were worried about a sunny day distracting you from your work, don't be. This plan is getting support from various foundations and private investors. During the holidays especially, freshmen may get lonely. 
Mississippi voters are deciding today if they want to keep the Confederate emblem on their state flag. We're looking for jobs, you know. Today's weather was similar to the weekend's warm, sunny days. Owner Maurice Stein says the strike would be devastating to his business. It isn't much fun cleaning up the day after a windstorm. The third annual undergraduate symposium for scholarly and creative work was held on campus. Wind speeds really picked up today. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. Here at the corner of 23rd and Figueroa is one of several buildings in the BID that currently goes without a tenant. Now Villaragosa and Han are free to spend whatever they can raise. Investors snapped up shares of U.S. equities today. Ridge emphasized that the warnings are a result of credible evidence. Monday night I sat here at this desk and was called gorgeous. Ohio State in the round of 16 at the sports arena. The weather has begun to get a little wild. For the most part, these ladies of Troy are playing for fun. Both the women and men are playing, are paying bad team. I know that in some way, I've been a part of it. And the USC campus looked like a casbah today. This high wire bike is one of the many exhibits here at the Science Center. The squad is bound for the Sweet 16. Three American soldiers are dead today after a bombing accident in Afghanistan. Currently outside, it is about 65 degrees. After too little snow, the Sierra Mountains and northern Nevada experienced too much. Hollywood and Highland will celebrate its opening with a bang. Fire and plumes of smoke filled the skyline this morning. And investigating complaints of sexual abuse against the L.A. Archdi Archdiocese. Nine Palestinian children came out of the Church of Nativity in Bethlehem today. The sun's ra rays warmed the quiet USC campus. You gotta love the producers. There's Anne Lynn Trong. Fifth Street is at the heart of Skid Row. Yesterday's deadly collision between a freight and commuter train came after the freight train ran a red light. At least two ballot measures later this year to carve out parts of the city. UCLA has named its new athletic director. Jenny Conception. But speaking of hot weather, that brings us to this week's Something Clever About the Weather. I got a tan yesterday, and today I got soaked. As America continues to seek a forum with other Arab nations. The Metrolink riders are shaken up, but most set aside their pains and helped each other recover. I found something on campus that was even more beautiful than the weather. Investigators continue to speculate on what went wrong. USC students are getting a head start on those much-needed networking skills. Some of the players are relatively inexperienced. And candidates are paying close attention to their funds. Local residents asked to evacuate have found themselves here. USC is offering free parking at the USC Parking Center. The Los Angeles City Fire Department is concerned about dry brush. We're going to give you the scoop on the celebrities with tonight's first segment of Hollywood drama. The blazing fire in San Gabriel Mountains has begun to cause air quality problems. Police rely on the media to deliver messages both to the public and to potential suspects. But everybody seemed to be well fed. There is a caffeine-free alternative to studying for midterms. State and federal authorities have brought charges. With instances of students getting hit by automobiles. He hopes his most recent productivity will help his popularity catch on. Members say they hope to carry out their motto. The most comprehensive surf report USC has to offer. 24 hours of unscripted programming. Graffiti artists are not just an L.A. phenomenon. I know we're all very sad to see myself go. 90 women at an Illinois plant were grouped or groped. They just want to get their work out there and get it seen. Their numbers are growing according to Census Bureau statistics. They all have the drive to succeed. With so much sunshine right here, what's the complaint about? Senator Barbara Boxer is leading an effort. USC had 3.4 inches of rain since Tuesday's storm. The African-American community is still split on the issue of affirmative action. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS. 